Hello, bros, and welcome to the next video, Bro Pop Production, and they thought Sakura Succubus 5. So, uh, let's jump where we in where we left off last time. We were taking a bath, and Elizabeth wanted to clean the bathroom, and now she cleaned my back instead. <laughs> For some reason. Well, now, isn't this cozy? <laughs> uh, yeah. Cozy. Right. That's one word for it, I suppose. I sit in the spacious bathtub, the water pooling around my legs while Elizabeth kneels behind me. In one hand, Elizabeth holds a sponge, which she impresses against my back in regular motions. The sponge is all, is all lathered up with warm, soapy water, and admittedly, it feels pretty good against the curve of my spine. I'm painfully aware, however, of Elizabeth and her close proximity. I can feel Elizabeth's breath against my nape of my neck, feel to the way her exhalations make my skin tingle. Elizabeth took off her maid's attire before stepping in to the bath with me, with the, the very astute reasoning that she who wouldn't want to get her clothes wet. I can understand her logic, but I don't see why she felt the need to join me in the bath. I figure she asked me to vacant the tub, then sit on a stool so she could attend my still fully dressed. that be easier all around, I think, and far less embarrassing. Elizabeth, however, doesn't seem to see it that way. She was pretty gung-ho about this uh, ploy of her, though why exactly I don't know. Maybe I should try asking her. Hey, um, Elizabeth? Hmm? Elizabeth pauses in a slow methodical scrubbing to look at uh, me askance. What is it, Mirko's eye? Is something not to your liking? Would you prefer it if I put more power into my technique? Oh no, your technique is fine. It's more, um... My bro furrows. Is this really alright? I apologize, but I do not understand your query. What do you mean by this? This whole situation, I mean, sitting with me in the baths of like this, I mean... I know maids are meant to serve their masters, but I'm not your employer. Stephanie's, unless she ordered you to do this. And I can imagine why she would. I can't imagine why she would. There's no need for you to go so very f far out of your way for my sake. I mean... <laughs> well, I think many people in their life have sometimes dreamed of having a maid <laughs> but I do not want to steal her uh, from Stephanie but I am very wondering about uh, <laughs> the time and well I think actually I don't want to take up too much of your time is the best answer uh, for right now I mean she must be a succubus that's a uh, no uh, <laughs> it's no doubt about that for me I'm still 99% sure, and 99% sure is because I have not got any real confirmation but that she actually is a succubus, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. I don't want to take up too much of your time, not when I know you're so busy. It's making me feel kind of guilty, and more than a little embarrassed. I've been in a suggestive situation before, of course, I'm not a stranger to them, but Elizabeth's forrightness is enough to unsettle even me. Unlike my entourage of Suckabee, I really can't help if she actively trying to flirt with me, or if she really does uh, regard this as a part, of, uh, uh, part and parcel of her job. I have no idea what to think. Oh, please. Elizabeth, by contrast, does not seem or indeed sound at all perturbed by her situation. I can hear the purse of her lips, though I can't see her face, feel to her warm breath against the nape of my neck. 
think she actually is smelling us because technically we are smelling extra good to succubus and that's the only reason even if a little bit trying to my neck the only reason I would feel her breath against my nape on my neck if she actually is uh, intentionally getting closer do not feel guilty, Mr. Ogisawara. You have no cause to. I am the one who insisted that I aid you. You have no, fo you have not forced my hand at all. I know that, but this uh, must be an inconvenience. I'm sure you have more important things to do. More important than tending to my lady's most esteemed guest. No, I do not believe that is the case. Most esteemed? Huh. That I mean. Okay, now I'm uh, starting to think both Elizabeth and uh, Stephanie is a uh, succubus. Possibility exists. <laughs> You're flattering me now. I'm hardly the most esteemed guest. That'd uh, be his for me, surely. And as the companion of Miss Yamamoto, you too are an important rank. My lady wishes for nothing but your comfort, which I am uh, striving to ensure. As my lady's top maid, I must do all in my power to make her guests feel looked after. A failure to do so would reflect most poorly upon my part. In fact, as my lady's maid, I am also by extension your maid. I am willing to do anything to ensure your happiness, no matter how taxing it may be upon me. I was gonna check one thing real quickly. Yeah. I was making sure my microphone actually works because it did turn off the last time I did a Sakura and I just want to make sure it works. My feelings do not matter. You are of far high import. I don't know about that. You might be a maid, sure, but that doesn't uh, mean you have to put the uh, orders above yourself all the time. That's not all the time, no. I can hear a faint smile in Elizabeth's word. It sounds like she's having fun, at least, despite all her talk of servitude. But I mo must behave as such while I'm working, and given being a maid is 24-hour job, which uh, demands all of my attention, I have little room to worry about my own needs. Technically, she said just 24. I'm, uh, more, I'm pretty sure. She is a uh, succubus, because succubus doesn't need to sleep. Most uh, supernatural creatures, no matter which one, does not actually have to sleep all the time. <laughs> I mean, I sleep uh, 12 hours a day if I don't get woken up by something. 12 hours of a day, that's half the day, and that's a lot. <laughs> I think the longest I actually have slept ever was 20 hours <coughs> non-stop. But uh, you never know, really, with all of this. But I must, so I must behave as such while I'm working, and given being a maid is a 24-hour job, which demands all my attention. I have little room to worry about my own needs. But that's just as good as denying yourself your own happiness, isn't it? I had to think Elizabeth or uh, Fen offered to join me in the bathtub out of some twisted sense of obligation that made me feel like a creep. To my relief, however, Elizabeth only laughs. Your kindness is much appreciated, Mr. Ugisawara, but it is unnecessary. As a maid, nothing gives me greater pleasure than making my lady and her guest happy. I need nothing more in life to content that. Hmm, that. Really? That's awfully altruistic of you. No, it is not. Not particularly. My motivation in serving my lady and now you are rather selfish. If I did not enjoy it so much myself, I would not be able to devote myself to my task so tirelessly. Yeah, I think she actually be a little bit selfish because uh, she wants to smell us apparently. I would guess that, uh, I have no context for it, but I have to presume things in uh, this before we get any confirmation. People may think that being a maid is a tedious, taskless job, but it, like all other occupations, become very rewarding when one takes genuine pleasure in their work. 
I like to think my work can bring others joy, even if a sad joy is only momentary. So how do you feel? Let's request the sponge a bit more firmly against my back. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Ubisawara? Yeah, uh... Aside despite myself and that really does feel good, as a bit of from the deliberate administration is the not the tension out at the top of my spine. This does feel pretty nice. You, you are, uh, natural at this. Well, I thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Now, let me see if I cannot do something about those stiff shoulders of yours. My lady would uh, be sad to see you <coughs> bearing such stress when she wishes only for you to relax. Let us focus her attention upon my body once more. She runs the sponge up and down my back, soaping me up while I try and only partially succeed not to squirm. The rhythm of Elizabeth scrubbing, coupled with her warm breath against my nape, is a addictive combination. It feels so good, I can't stop myself from sighting. Uh, Elizabeth, of course, is made immediately aware of this, and uh, doubtlessly amused, she chuckles. Goodness me, that was quite a sigh. Uh, oh, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's um, <laughs> been a while since anybody washed my back. I, I uh, forgot how good it, it could be. Then I'm most uh, gratified that I could remind you. <laughs> I must say, you do have a very handsome back and a handsome shoulders too. They are so broad and while they are not particularly muscular, I can detect a degree of power rippling beneath the surface of your skin. You are awfully masculine, Mr. Ogusara, and your scent. Uh, well, definitely a succubus. 100% sure now. <laughs> I am surprised as the blue leans in the tip of her nose uh, skimming against my nape. She inhales while I swallow. She's so close to me now I can feel her chest pushed up against my spine. T talk about stimulating. This is so intense how oh, my heart feels like I'm, uh, it might explode. You are indeed delectable. I must confess I was intrigued by you the moment we first met. You exude a certain aura of a woman, or a, a woman such as myself cannot possibly ignore. It's, uh, it is a little wonder you are so popular. After what seems entirely too long, Elizabeth finally draws back. I can no longer feel the softness of her chest against my back, which uh, seems both a blessing and a curse. I almost wish I could ask her to press herself against me again, but that'd be far too shameless. I have no pride in that. I do wonder though. Hmm? The wistful tone of Elizabeth's voice uh, catches me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. Not of the, her sultry, almost seductive tones from earlier. And it makes me blink. What are you wondering exactly? It is about my lady, Stephanie. I feel rather than see Elizabeth nod behind me, the sponge pressed against my back, slamming down my spine. She is a cheerful girl by nature. Rare it is to see her without a smile, but she has been lonely throughout her life. You are already 21 years of age and an adult in every conceivable sense, she has a little in the way of experience. Her parents uh, worry for her given she is their only heir. Perhaps that are <coughs> right to do so given though, I mean my lady no disrespect, her common sense can be somewhat wanting at times. Uh huh, so Stephanie is totally an airhead is she? I would guess that. I had gathered as much based on her, her early exchange, but it is nice to have a call it confirmed by Elizabeth. My lady is very sweet, but she can o can be overly trusting. She always believes the best in people, so her own detriment, and seems not to know there exist the brigand, brigands in this world who would take advantage of her. 
Because of my lady inherent sweetness, her parents believe she is the safest kept within the walls of the palace where they can look after her. They mean the best, yet I fear it because of her protectiveness that she has grown the way she is, so innocent and naive. That her mother and father let her travel to Japan to attend the Karuta competition is a small miracle. Rarely do they let her leave the palace. She was so very excited about the trip. It quite warmed my heart upon returning to her story and much of her ebullience began to fade. She continues to smile still, but I fear she feels rather isolated, much like a princess from a fairy tale. She does not have any friends to speak of, say myself, and never before has he had the chance to speak to any members of the opposite sex. There is much uh, she is ignorant of, particularly when it comes to matters of their heart. Oh? A frown. I'm not exactly surprised by this. Princess, as far as I am aware, have even stricter uh, limits placed on their love lives than idols like are you. But I feel sorry for Stephanie all the same. Yeah. It's uh, still not as common as the old days, but it's still common these days that actually princesses be married off to princes in other countries just for uh, either <coughs> to quell uh, tides of a war or uh, trade connections. Pretty much uh, that. She is uh, such a bright, cheery girl, I never considered the hardship she might be enduring. Does she want me to um, learn more about the heart? I believe so, yes. My lady has uh, confided in me before numerous times, in fact, that she would like to indulge in some of the experience of other women can ordinary women. While she appreciates her parents' concern, she does not like being swaddled so like a young babe. She is uh, a grown woman now, as such she ought to, free to be free to live her own life. That is what I believe at least. Yeah, I'll bet. I can't really blame her for that. I hate it if I was always told uh, what to do and where to go. You were not be cut out for the life of a noble, then or indeed the attendant of a noble. Elizabeth Titters, I can see that you are fiercely in individual. Okay, I can't read that. I can't even. I can't even uh, keep along inside the. Uh, alongside the uh, changes of the letters. <coughs> Mr. Ogasawa, in this sense, you are very different from both my lady and myself. Yeah, you are not the same gender after all. <laughs> but I think that may be what my lady needs. In what sense? I think I can tell that there is a, this conversation is going, but I want some affirmation what exactly is Elizabeth getting at. While I try to console my lady as best I can, there is only so much I can do for her. I would like to believe we are friends, but I fear that may be presumptuous of me, given I am also her servant. In a purely social sense, I am strictly my lady's inferior, though she of course never treats me as such. Despite my best efforts, alas, I cannot offer my lady the rich, plentiful life I want her to have on my own. While I know full well my lady cannot live as a normal woman might by the virtue of being a princess, but I would at least uh, like it if she could uh, broaden her horizons. If she could learn how to talk to an ordinary man such as yourself, one who is not an immediate family member or servant, then maybe. Maybe. Well, who knows. This is all a basis conjecture upon my part, but... I hear the smile of this uh, ponderous words, hear two day crickle in her eyes. Perhaps my lady might learn in time to fall in love. 
then even she might be able to experience a taste of romance shot away through so she is in this palace. It would be a brief and a fleeting kind of romance, but the same can be said of many affairs, even those of great lovers, as written in famous plays. As the old saying goes, I believe it's better to love and lose said love than not to love at all. And you want Stephanie to fall in love with me. Well, why not? You are not on a track there, and you seem like a gentleman. Alan is a certain, a certain as uh, much myself just now. For despite our close proximity, you have not made any inappropriate overtures towards me. I doubt other men would have a sm similar self-control. That because I append inside my head, I doubt other men have the experience I do of the being routinely pursued by a gaggle of attractive succubi. I don't voice this thought, however. I don't know whether Elizabeth herself is a succubus or not. I'm sure she is now to 100%, and she's not. Uh, I'm gonna make sure she is. <laughs> Marina seems to have some uh, suspicion, but if she isn't mentioning the topic, would any result in awkwardness? I would just ask. <laughs> I really do believe you would be uh, a perfect match for my lady, Mr. Ogisawara. You really are a fine specimen of a man, so much so I admit I myself am somewhat enamored uh, with you. Being so close to you is indeed enough to make my own heart flutter. Ah. Elizabeth exhales her breath warm against the nape of my neck. Your, your will might be strong enough to resist my advances, Miss Oxora, but I am beginning to fear I'm not strong enough to keep my own uh, wits about me. Hmm? I answer the builder, still a touch flushed by her intense closeness. What are you talking about? You cannot guess? Elvis my thinly. I would say at this point. Uh, at this point, I would say, no, don't hold back then. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I'm just uh, not ashamed of anything. Do not f feign ignorance, please, Mos uh, mis please, Mr. Savara. What I desire ought to be obvious enough. I thought you wanted Stephanie to be happy. I do indeed. If she is to be truly fulfilled, however, I must first see how you conduct yourself in the art of love. This would be a pure experiment, you understand, to calculate how compatible you might be with my lady. Well, there's not gonna end up anything <laughs> there anyway. Well, but as you said, better to love loose than to never love at all. If you are to be true partner for her, I must inspect you truly. Every single inch of you, in fact. Now then, let us smile wickedly. Shall we begin? Ah, oh, jeez, what a morning. I sigh to myself, exhausted as I stroll about the palace's spacious gardens. A little bit flirt. Situations have left me feeling wary and a little unsure of myself. What exactly does Elizabeth want from me? It seemed like she was interested in me, but she framed all her actions as though they were undertaken for Stephanie's sake. Does Elizabeth want me to be to befriend Astoria's princess or more scandalously still seduce her? <laughs> well, we'll see uh, how it goes. I wonder. I saw lost in uh, my wandering, in fact, I failed to notice Marina herself, who is similar story about the goddess, at least until she calls to me. Hey, okay, what in the world are you doing, uh, strap passing about like a ghost? Is there something uh, awry? What? Oh. I snap my head about up uh, my eyes over wide and I look at Marina. She dressed in uh, wintry attire. Uh, she don't during a fight to Astoria, 
Her upper half concealed in dark sweater, while her hips are encased with a high-waisted skirt. Her look is complemented with a black beret, which uh, contrasts with her silvery hair. I know a little about fashion, but Marina looks incredibly well dressed. I'm fine, Marina. Sorry if I made you worry. I just had a lot on my mind, is all. On your mind, huh? Here's a repair from behind Marina's back. Now, how long uh, was she standing there? Her green eyes alert. <sighs> that sounds kind of serious. Thinking uh, too much uh, can give you uh, muscle cramps, you know? Maybe you ought to go for a jog to get yourself all loosened up. There's no sort of nice path around here you can use. The gardens are absolutely massive and hardly anybody uses it. It makes for an awesome running track. <laughs> I think I pass on the running for now. Boo. Well, thanks for the suggestion. Uh, it's appreciated. A look between Hazel and Marina, a touch perturbed. These two make for a rare combination, alright. I don't often see them together, and when I do, they tend to be bickering. Marina had cause to discipline Hazel on numerous occasions given her obsessive infatuation with pretty girls, you in particular. When I was trapped in the succubus realm that one time, my succubus allies were all trying to save me excepting Hazel. Yeah, I never forget that. <laughs> she was having a whole whale of a time kicking back in the succubus realm and bestowing messages to demanding you. That was a while ago now. No, I'd like to think it's the water under the bridge. I don't. <laughs> well, old friends, now even Hazel seems to have forgotten the intensity of Marina's per punishment because she's looking pretty relaxed in her company. Marina is right, though. Hazel pipes up and a hand resting on her hip. You really do look uh, too hot. Would you mind telling us what the matter? It's nothing, really. I just had some difficulties this morning in the bathroom. Difficulties, is it? Marina smiles wickedly. Do not tell me that uh, that in mine and Hazel's absence you have been expan expanding your energy, shall we term it, on your own? That would truly be heartbreaking. Well, not on my own, at least. I know what Marina's getting at, of course, and I feel obliged to correct her ASAP. No, that's wrong. I've not been getting enough alone time, actually. Since I arrived here, that's been my real problem. Oh, is that so? Marina watches her eyebrow. Then do you mean to say you have been indulging in torrid affairs with the maids? No, I... I made to protest, but Marina cuts across me. You naughty boy, you had no idea you were so desperate. Well, is that what they've been going on? I figured you'd taken an interest in that uh, silver-haired maid, but I didn't know things had gotten that far. Don't tell me you've been getting down on dirty with her already. It, it was more of a case of her being overly familiar with me, if you must know. Her correct is a word flushing. Uh, I didn't instigate anything, I swear. I didn't. What? Do you take me for? Oh gee, I don't know. A playboy maybe? Am I a playboy? You have like six gorgeous women on the go, how does that make you anything other than a playboy? Even if you wrapped around your finger, you sly dog you. Nothing uh, hazel loops are uh, over me to uh, then nudges me in the side with her elbow. So many cute girls are into you, I'm actually kind of yelly. I wish I had my own harem. There's nothing stopping you from pursuing cute girls on the side. If you, uh, if you want, didn't you have a thing with that girl from the sports center, Yumiko? Yuriko? <laughs> That's a giggles. giggles. Yeah, 
yeah, she was a real cutie, but in the end I didn't pan out. She was way too jealous. I can't uh, have a relationship with anybody who too uh, attached. It was really uh, crapping my style. Says you who bends over backward to serve you every wish uh, and whim. You are the very definition of a uh, attach when our queen is involved. Yeah, but that's different. Lady Yu is adorable. Who wouldn't be obsessed with her? I wouldn't, and I'm quite and quite easily too. Marina sniffs. You might be a monarch, but her superior attitude rubs me the wrong way. She doesn't treat me with the respect I deserve, despite me my being her senior by many years. She could stand with the uh, with being knocked down a peg or two. No, Marina, you just don't get it. Her hot hotness is like a part of Lady Yu's appeal. Lady Yu might act uh, intimidating, but deep down she is really sweet and shy. The gap between her cold outer appearance and her soft, gooey core is simply sublime. Don't you agree, Hiroki? If Hiroki has any sense, he would uh, sooner choose Princess Stephanie over you. Stephanie is, in my humble estimation, everything a royal should be. She is elegant and graceful, yet not all the proud. She cares for her guests and takes great pains to ensure we are having a comfortable time. You could take a leaf out of her book. I don't know, Stephanie is cute, sure, but she's not the same as Lady Yu. She's like, one of a kind. Good, I'm glad Yu is one of a kind. One you is a pain enough to contend with, let alone introduce a second. Oh, I wish two lady you exist to think of all the fun I could get up to then. Hold on a second. <coughs> uh, I noticed something stuck in my keyboard. There. Now well, that's uh, not stuck in my keyboard anymore. <sighs> Here's a giggles while Marina pulls her face. I don't want to think about the fun your twisted little mind is cooking up. You have no self-control whatsoever. When it comes to pretty girls, you mean? Here's the grins. You'd be right on that score, I, I don't. Please. Don't sound so proud of that. I really am curious now though. Who do you prefer, Hiroki? Lady Yu or Steffi? Well, now let me think. Well, as uh, soon as you uh, went back on kidnapping me, she's uh, been fine. I think, and Stephanie, she is a little shy, and I technically uh, am liking you you more but I wish you uh, she actually would have a little more time uh, on her hands so uh, you could actually meet her more often but I choose you I guess I have to go with you I reply after only a brief pause I know her a lot longer than I've known Stephanie after all which isn't to say that Stephanie isn't sweet you is the jealous type though, so I think she'd be upset if I said anything else. Huh. You sure I have Lady Yu's number? It's all titters. Yu is jealous horribly so, but I think that adds to her appeal. It makes her like ten times cuter. Does it now? We raise an eyebrow. I can't say I see the appeal in a uh, volatile, insecure woman myself. Well, uh... But perhaps I'm simply too mature for a historian, Nix. It's not that you're too mature, Marina. You just can't see Lady Yu's appeal because you're devoid of love. Lady Yu is the best waifu and those are the cold hard facts. Just face it already. Here's and Marina bicker between one another for a few moments, largely on the subject of Yu v. Stephanie before Marina cuts her eye back in my direction. While putting our own taste to one side, in life it, in the palace it's beginning to tire you, Hiroki. Would you care to visit Rosenberg with Hazel and me? 
Well, we are planning to explore the, it regardless given we both have some free time, but it would be more enjoyable if you could pursue it with your company. Oh yeah, that sounds like fun. Been itching to spend more time with you, Hiroki. My own energy stores have been uh, dwindling, but uh, going on uh, a date should restore me back to tip-top condition. What do you say? I turn my options over for a few moments and then... Sure, I'd love to go uh, out with you too. Just lead the way. I still feel rather it's true, but spending time with Marina and Hazel should be enough to restore my spirit. I'm counting on them to cheer me up. It's hard not to be cheerful really while in Hazel's company. It's uh, accepting the occasion when she got me to go jogging with her. That is... Uh, that was an experience I really rather not relive. I mean, I, I technically never jog unless I actually have to hurry. But I usually only walk in fast paces because then I can keep on going forever and uh, then that makes it all more work out as long as you have the time. It's uh, at both Hayes and Marina's behest that an hour later I find myself in a pleasant cafe in Rosenberg. The cafe is, not, is one that specializes in sweets and taking advantage of the expensive menu my two dates order an extensive amount of food. I hadn't thought Marina being a mature woman would have such a sweet tooth, or Hazel for that matter, who has her career as a sportswoman to fuss about. Hazel's healthy nut, she's always been one to sing the praises of fresh fruits and veggies. She goes for yogs every morning too and can be found most days practicing her surfs on the tennis courts. It's a real surprise therefore that Hazel and Marina look as excited as they do about all the sweets they ordered. The enthusiasm is such however that it's almost infectious. Hazel's practically salivating and my eyes are lit up like a small sized case in point. And that's the picture. Let's see, that's where we saved last time, so that's it now. So... <coughs> that was all I have for Sakura Succubus this time, so hit like and share. See you next time. Bye-bye.